What's up, pups? How you guys doing? I'm doing great, thanks for asking. I just wanna address something that really bothered me. Um, typically, when like things happen on YouTube or on the internet, um, I don't make a video unless I feel very strongly about it because I just tend to stay out of like the conversation and the drama. Um, but this whole Brooke Holtz, Holtz thing, I went off on Twitter last night um, because this girl is a complete garbage human being. Um, she is a horrible trash person who doesn't deserve a platform, who doesn't deserve to have a pet. I have absolutely no room in my life for accepting or tolerating animal abusers. So fuck this girl, I'm sorry. I know I normally don't uh, curse on my channel, but there's absolutely no excuse for what she did. I tweeted uh, the video of her abusing her beautiful Doberman. Um, I will say trigger warning, uh, I'll link it down below. I'm not putting it in this video. Uh, it is very traumatic and hard to watch, especially uh, if you are a pet owner. The fact that she would try to post an apology uh, saying that she's so sorry, uh, she was having a bad day, uh, and thank you for understanding. No. Do you think your dog understands that you were having a bad day so you took it out on your animal that thinks that you are its caretaker? You are supposed to be the lover and protector of your dog? I just, I, I can't, I hope you see this video and I hope that you understand how big of a fucking garbage human being trash person you are. You are trash. Literal trash. That is not how you treat the animal that has accepted you as its owner, accepted you for its protection and love. That dog gives unconditional love and continued to come back to you even after you hit it the first time. And the fact that it flinched away when you were trying to put your hair in a ponytail speaks wonders. You are a trash person. You do not deserve a platform. And I am making this video because I want everyone to please go report her channel, to please go report her Twitter. Her dog needs to be taken away and rehomed with someone. There are plenty of people who have reached out on the internet saying they will adopt her dog. That dog deserves a home where it will be loved and cherished, not treated with disrespect and abuse. I have absolutely no room uh, in my life for animal abusers. Uh, it is probably the one thing that I hate the most. And on the topic of a big dog, uh, Luna here is my German Shepherd. Okay, you guys know Luna. All right. And I have had some comments in the past about her collar. So something I did want to touch on here in this video, in hopes that maybe Brooke will see the video, because she did claim that she hasn't been able to afford a trainer for her dog because it's expensive. Listen, we made sure to get training for Luna because we wanted to know how to handle a big dog. People will comment sometimes about her Springer uh, collar right here, this this metal collar. She's got her head turned so you can't really see it. Oh, that's a, that's a, pr a pinch collar. That's a mean collar. You shouldn't have your dog in that collar. So big dogs, uh, when they play, they can jump on you and it can hurt sometimes. There have been many times when Luna will jump on me thinking she is a 10 pound puppy, uh, not realizing that she is a close to 70 pound full grown dog. Um, <laughs> you're so cute. This collar is not a dangerous collar. Um, we worked with a professional trainer. I was very skeptical of this collar at first because like many people, I didn't understand what it was. I thought that it was an inhumane way of, um, you know, having a dog on a collar. This is the only thing that allows me to make sure that she is safe and I am safe, um, especially when I'm walking her outside. This is not a pinch collar, uh, it's a prong collar. Uh, it does have limitations to how uh, far it can close. When I'm out walking with her, um, if another dog comes up, she's a very dog friendly pup, like she loves to play with other dogs, but she doesn't know limitations with small pups, big pups. Um, when I'm out walking her just to go to the bathroom uh, and she sees another dog, she will take off running if I don't have the collar in my grip really well. Um, so all this does is it kind of stops her to, to remember, oh, I probably shouldn't go run and do that. If I had a normal collar on her, which I have done sometimes, she knows that she has a normal collar on and she will act out. It's hard to get control of her. Um, it's not a punishment mechanism. She does not view this as a punishment whatsoever. Uh, it's just her collar. Now, when she does get out of line, there are little ways that you can correct her uh, with the collar. However, we haven't had to do that since we were training her because she just, 
she knows. I think one of the biggest misconceptions is if you do not have a large dog, if you have not gone through the training process, a lot of the uh, ways that you correct a dog or, um, I, I don't even like to use the word punish because it's not a punishment. You're correcting the behavior. Like it's not a punishment. I don't ever punish my dog. The only time that I've ever had to punish her um, is when she's like taken food off of my plate uh, and she normally doesn't do that. The punishment is that she goes to lie down. She does not get pushed or slapped or punched or any of the abuse that we saw in Brooke's video. That is not how you punish a dog. Like I said, I don't like that word. That is not how you correct a dog's behavior. Um, I just, I watch something like that and it makes me uh, so upset. Uh, I'm filled with such an emotional response because dogs are so great and they rely on their human owners for protection. And when when I see something like that happen and that, that dog doesn't understand what's going on, it, it just bounces back and it thinks, I don't know. I don't know, it's really upsetting. Anyway, dogs are great. Brooke, before you ever, ever own any pet again you need to learn how to handle a big dog you need to learn how to handle a dog in general but especially a big dog get the proper training yes it is expensive but yes it is necessary especially if you want to make sure that you are handling your dog safely and you are correcting them the right way if they act out of turn it's not just your dog that needs training in this situation Brooke you need training you need to learn how to handle a dog because you are not equipped or fit to handle and own a pet. Absolutely not. But I just, dogs are perfect. Why would you ever, 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 ever? I just don't get it. Do you get it? Luna, do you get it? Do you get it? I don't get it. I don't get it. I love you. I love you. Anyway, uh, I'm sorry. This kind of dragged on a little bit longer than I thought it would. I'm just very filled with anger. <laughs> so uh, I hope you guys are having a good day and um, thanks for watching. And yeah, learn how to take care of your dogs, Brooke. I can recommend some uh, trainers. I can recommend some websites. Figure your life out. I will see you guys uh, in a few days with another video. <laughs> Bye, everybody.